Hi, and welcome back to these Matte Plot Lib Tips. Today I'll be showing you how to remove that outside box around your Matte Plot Lib figures. So that outside border around your figures is composed of four separate spines. Today I'll be showing you how to despine your figure. And I'll show you how to do this with Matte Plot Lib itself first, then we'll use a separate library called Seaborn to make this process even faster. So let's dive in. So let's see how we can use matplotlib to remove the spines. I'll go ahead and start by importing pyplot from matplotlib. And I also have some data here, some X and some Y data. And if I want to plot these in the form of a line, I'll just reference the pyplot module and the plot function and pass in X and Y. Okay, so we have a nice line plot, but as I mentioned in the beginning, we have this box around the plot. If I'd like to remove that, there's a couple of steps that I can take with matplotlib itself. So first, what I wanna do is go ahead and get the current axes of this figure. So I can do that and store it as ax. I'll reference pyplot GCA for get current axes. So what this has done, if I check the type of axes, these are our current axes for our subplot. And the interesting thing here is once you have those axes, they have a property called spines. So let's print that out. This is a dictionary. So we have the left, right, bottom, and top spines of this figure. So I'm going to be accessing these spines directly to turn them off. So let's go back up to our figure and turn off one of those spines. Let's say the top one. The way I'm gonna do that is reference the axes, then reference those spines, and now I need to reference the spine that I would like to turn off. Remember that this is a dictionary, so I'll reference the top spine by passing in its key. Then I'll use this method called set visible, and I'll set this to false. All right, so what this has done has actually turned off the top spine, and I could use code exactly like this to go ahead and turn off the right spine as well. I'll just change top to right. And there we go. So that's one way that we can use matplotlib itself to turn off the top and right spines. And of course, you could cycle through however many of these spines that you would like to turn off. If you'd like to turn all of those spines off, you can use this other method called set frame on. So again, you'll want to get your current axes through GCA. Then you'll reference this method called set frame on. And right now, of course, this is turned to true. We're going to switch this to false. This removes that entire box or frame that goes along the outside of our figure. And lastly, with matplotlib, you can actually turn off the spines for all of the plots that you make. You just need to reference your RC parameters or the parameters that are in your run commands. So the way to do this, first off, notice that my plot currently has all of the spines turned on but I can actually turn these off for all subsequent plots. The way to do that is reference pyplots RC params. And here we want to pass in the axes spines. And we want to be particular about which spines we want to turn off. So let's turn off the top spine. I'll set that to false. And what this is doing now, any plot that I have after I do this update to the RC params will have that into effect. So if I run uh, pyplot plot again with my X and Y data, you will see now that that top spine has been turned off. So let's go ahead and duplicate this code and turn off the right one as well. Now both the top and right are going to be turned off for every plot that I make with matplotlib. So just to show you that that is true, we'll verify that by making the scatter plot as well. We just saw a lot of nice ways to remove those spines using matplotlib, but I have one final pro tip for you. If you want to make this process even simpler, you can use something called the Seaborn Library. Let's check it out. To remove the spines with Seaborn, we'll first need to import the Seaborn library. So this is an external library, which is separate from the matplotlib library. So typically we'll import that and save it with the alias SNS. And I also wanted to let you know that I did reset my RC parameters. So if I were to use matplotlib to plot out my data once again, you'll see that all of those spines have been restored. The awesome thing about Seaborn is that it works on top of matplotlib, so you can use them in conjunction with each other. So right now I have a plot with matplotlib, but if I want to remove the spines with Seaborn, I can directly underneath this line of code write sns.dspine and hit enter. 
Here we go, so super easy way to remove both the top and right spines. But this function does even more than that. So right now, the default is to turn off the right and top spines but you could also potentially turn off the left and bottom if you'd like as well. So let's go ahead and try a couple of these arguments just to see what this function can do. If I want to turn off the left spine, I'll switch this left argument to true. And of course, if I want to bring back, let's say the right spine, I could switch that argument to false. So super simple, super easy way to have great control over those various different spines. And I actually find myself using this Seaborn D spine function even more often than controlling those with matplotlib alone. So thanks so much for joining me today. All the code I demoed is available on my GitHub page. And if you wanna see more matplotlib tips just like this one, you can subscribe to my channel and check out my full matplotlib tips playlist. See you next time. Hi, and welcome back. No, I already did that part. <laughs> and I'm gonna show And I'm gonna. And I'm gonna. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say next.